Hey guys, and welcome to Creative. Oh, I just hit my mouse right there. Um, we're going to be doing a little tutorial today, actually, a little out of the usual, but um, we're going to be building this car here. I've asked, I've had quite a few people ask me how to build it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, so I'm really excited to be able to share it with you guys. Uh, I usually don't do all the tutorials, but for small things like this, I think it's pretty cool because it's kind of, it's a really interesting little pickup design. We got, there's some storage space in the back here. And we're using the cool pistons right here in order to build it. So with that, I've actually been planning on having one down this way. So we're just going to kind of throw it in over here. And you guys are getting a sneak peek at the whole creative world of Heatherport and where we are going with it. But this is all still planning phase stuff. Not much is done in here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and clear this area out a little bit. And this thing actually does not require that much space. It's super nice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just drop some wheels down. Get some big wheels here. And I believe we go with piston, piston. I think this might be too far forward. Yeah, I think that's too far forward. I think the pistons need to be back one. So with them like that, and then we grab yeah, so I'm just going to try and figure out how to plan this out real quick, guys. But pretty much how you want to start out is you want to lay down the tires in the front, or the wheels in the front. And then you basically you just take, like for now, we can do wooden board trap doors, but basically you just bring them all the way back. We'll change them up to texture them later on. And you want to right here. So the front is literally just a, so you take the straight out and railing, you do some cool little whatchamacallits, uh, iron stairs right there to the side. And then you want to come in here with pistons and have them facing the front. So you want that grill texture to be facing the front like that. And then kind of in here, you know it's right when you have that little stuff going right there. Uh, I'm going to go and look at the other thing to make sure all this is correct so far. And so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're on par so far. We're good to go. The big thing to note is that you want a three three long space in between the tires. So the next tires are going to be right back here. So we got that three little blocks right there. I know it looks massive right now, but you'll see why in a little bit. And so we got a big tires right there. That's all working out cool. And we can bring this all the way back here, the wooden boards just for now. And we can break that block and you want to have it extend one past the tire. So I know this car looks really long and kind of weird, but it makes sense in the end. So what we want to be doing is now we want to be in this place still here. So we're just going to work from the front back pretty much and build it kind of front going to the back instead of, so on top of the pistons, you want to do a little half slabs. Then you want to come behind it with a glass block trap doors and place those into there. And up here on the top, sorry, I'm still trying to get hang out this inventory thing. You want to take oak wood planks carpet and place that right there. So you got that kind of cool little look to the front of it. Beyond that, you come back in here with iron or oak platform trap doors. We can place those right there. Then uh, vertical oak plank slabs, place those right behind it. And that's basically right here is the whole truck area in itself. So what we're going to do here is we want to come in with some iron stairs and you just plunk these guys right down in here. And then we need to grab the vertical slab of this guy, which you see to open up the menu like usual. And I'm trying to get back in the little seat area. We can place that down right there. We can place this guy in here, place you in here. And then basically here back, you kind of just bring that stuff all the way out. So we bring in, we're bringing all this stuff back here. So it's kind of just stretching. I know this place isn't actually a place. Actually, you only want to do it on the tires. Sorry, a little, little confusion there. Only the tires. Bring that bit out there so we can actually place the blocks in the back of it. Bring that out again on that side. So then our, our back little area right in here is six long. And basically the way you can think of this stuff is um, it's a little... You can open or close it. It's just kind of the back of the pickup truck to be able to lock all the stuff in here. So for this tutorial, why don't we just go with having it closed? Uh, keeps it easy. And then you want to come along here. You want to do oak or iron trap doors. 
We're going to be going back and working on the lower part for sure here in a bit. We can go ahead and do that now actually. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab our stick and do slash replace four, place four, slash replace four. There we go. I don't know what. So we can do that, grab that guy. And basically we want to have this be going all the way up to accept that very front one right there on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide that wheel right there and bring that up and we can, oops. So we bring that there. Keep using the ax, man. I don't know why. Okay. So we have our base in right here Then we need to actually come back here and do that to this guy still too. Most of these tools are normally used for different things. I guess I just haven't bound them since I've opened the game so far. So that's fine with me. But you can see in the back here, we have this nice little truck bed and you can come in here. And what I want to be doing is grabbing the iron trap door. Basically, I want to just do it right there so we can copy it in that position. Just copy and we can break it. And up here at the front, do that to kind of finish off that iron front look to it. And we can do it back here too to make this the back of the truck bed. And then here, pretty much all we have left to do here, guys, honestly, is bringing these little bits up by one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and place that guy right there and place you right there. And then we can go into the building blocks. And actually here, to make it a bit more interesting, let's go ahead and do the oak, the wooden boards because I don't know, might as well mix it up, right? So we have that right there and that's pretty much the truck guys. So, oh, we forgot one little bit here at the front. Um, just a thing to add a little bit of extra detail to it because we're kind of all steam, smoke powered and whatnot. Add a little bit, um, just a single small pillar here with a black flower pot on top and you get a cool little smokestack. I know it kind of looks like it's hanging off there, but overall it's really cool. But this is another really, really, or this is a really basic truck design that you can actually sit in the front here. Um, what you can do is you can come along here and kind of create these little doors to it if you want to say like have one side where you can't get in and then that one have like a door open but yeah so let me know what you guys think about the little tutorials like this these trucks are super fun to make i'm gonna be making a lot of different varieties of it sizes and all different types of things probably little cars too um, i really want to be getting into trains and all that type of stuff as well so guys as always let me know what you think in the comments below of this little tutorial video on our nice little pickup truck here in the steampunk style as always guys again um please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one